Hey guys, so here, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. Now, it is time for us to finally, after all this time, explore the monastery. While everyone is growing up, I have eight points that I can do. Um, problem. I don't know, how does one look at the, whoops. I don't mean to zoom in. There we go, that's the map button again. Wow, for there not being that many people in here? Well, students, there's a lot of people here. All right then, training grounds. So, so we can still do that. There are these guys. To tell you the truth, I used to be a knight of Seros, but at some point I just couldn't follow the Archbishop anymore. I ran away in secret and decided to join the Imperial Army. It's understandable. When I found Alois here, it made me feel much better. It meant I'd made the right decision. I mean, he decided to follow me, Ever since so... that day you disappeared, the Archbishop has been completely different. She started laughing as if she was possessed and spouting complete gibberish. <sighs> I wouldn't doubt that if she was. Do you ever regret taking the path you did? The fact that I just hesitated there because I thought of something, then thought of something else immediately. That's kind of bad. The only hesitation that I had was again. I don't want to kill Flane, but I'm gonna have to. Unless it's just like that fight where I just take out the commander and Flane can live, aka possibly killing her father, then she can live, but then she'll probably either kill herself, or she will just come after me and everyone else with a vengeance, and she'll end up getting herself killed anyway. There might be retribution for Flane's yet, I, I don't know. All the time I regret the path I take. No. Ha, the very model of a leader. I should take a page out of your book. I mean, the page out of the book of how to lie? Sure. Whatever path you choose going forward, I'll follow you without question. Uh-huh. Advanced drills. So, you can just teach me about pretty much anything else anyways. Heavy armor. I mean, I'm gonna be a Grimmery, so I don't really need your, your training. Who is... Oh! Wow! It is so weird seeing a little mark above my little birdie. It's so weird, man. That she, the fact that she can teach Sensei now how to use bows and whatnot. That's so cool. What? Odd. Which one was he again? Oh, right. The yeah, leader of, of the alliance. Remember him. It's just I can't picture his face. Don't remember what he looks like. I'm not sure if I ever knew. Uh, I I do. Oh well, he's just another enemy now, isn't he? Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Am I not supposed to say that? Technically speaking, it's fine. Look at that. Look at that. I am bad in bows and spears. Oh, wait, hold on. Is it me teaching them or is it them teaching me? It's got to be her teaching me because her bow is S rank, I think, or one close to it so yeah how the hell can she teach me in lance i didn't think i got her lances up that high all right my little bernie she's all grown up i'm so proud all right someone is inside of our old uh, classroom um, who's over here though Hey. Oh, Dorothea. I'm happy when we win battles, and I'm always relieved when our friends make it back safe. 
On the other hand, it's hard to watch the enemy die. Even worse when it's someone you know. We didn't kill anyone we knew. I, I, I let him live unless it's canon that he dies in battle anyways. <sighs> Perhaps it would have been better if I just stayed with the opera. I don't think so. Oh, you're right, Professor. I'll never regret the choices I've made. Now you just have to lead us to victory, so everyone else can let go of their regrets too. Oh, come on. They're totally not regretting anything. So, yeah, I'm a B plus in reason right now. And how I remember that, I don't know. And yes, I wasn't looking over to the right when I was reading that. I'm not that bad. Yet. Caspar. Didn't they used to call Claude the Master Tactician? I want a nickname too. Loudmouth? Maybe I'll get one there if I go. can defeat him at Dare Drew. I'll come up with a plan that'll beat his and earn a nickname for sure. Uh huh, sure. Axes, fist weapons. I mean, fist weapons technically is a strength of mine, but it's fine. I, I don't need any advanced drills. What I'm going to be using all eight points on, I don't know unless we're going out into a battle. Well, battling out in the Coliseum over there. We test our might against each other. I sit the, uh... Without the support of the pro-imperialist lords, the alliance is greatly weakened. Even so, I don't feel great about all this. We're gonna be fighting Claude. We must not let our guard down. We can definitely win. We can't. You're right. Claude has such unusual strategies for toying with his enemies. Even with you here, this battle will be very challenging. Oh, please, it'll totally be a walk in the park, right? Definitely not. You also teach reason. All right. So who is hmm. over this away? No one over here. I always get that marker messed up. That reminds me. It's right here. Oh yeah, I remember now. I don't know if I mentioned this last episode, but what about the uh, little um? No, there's nothing to report. Uh, guy. Five years that, ago, that one. Most of the people involved with the church in the empire Professor, moved to the eastern to church Professor? in alliance territory. I've been hearing rumors that the majority of those have now gone to the kingdom capital, Ferdiad. The Eastern Church has no military force of its own, so they must be sensing that the Alliance is weak and fleeing. I wonder if the Gatekeeper is here. That was his, uh, work title, I believe. Isn't it? Dare Drew, huh? I've always wanted to go there. In Fargus, most of the towns are pretty much glorified fortresses. So, to hear about a place called the Aquatic Capital, it just sounds so elegant. Let's go for a leisurely visit someday, promise? You know, after the war is over. Yes, why don't we? Even though you uh, don't get date women. They want to carry out advanced drills because the next skill level is lower than your own. Oh my. <laughs> skill is so low to the point where she can't even teach sensei anything that, that's kind of sad I need I need to I need to give her one two lesson of uh, how to use magic which is ironic because I used to be completely terrible at magic what's up a hungry hero talk. is no better than a well-fed soldier do you know that saying no that's because I just made it up if you're hungry, you're never going to be at full strength. Keep your belly full and stay strong. Wise words from you right there. Since we're already here, today's special. Everyone's already basically happy. Probably because I'm here. Although they would uh, hate me if I made them eat the sauteed jerky.
Yeah, let's do it. Petra and Edelgard. I just want to use one of my points, right? Food of the palace is extravagant, but food of the battlefield is very plain. Are you finding it difficult to be adjusting? <laughs> no, it is not so bad. In all honesty, I have had to eat much worse food in the past. Bonds among us three have grown stronger. Plus, it still gives me my professor level up. What is the max level? Is it A plus? S? It's probably S, isn't it? Oh god, I can still get professor level up. What's the point now? No one needs to learn from from Sensei anymore. I'm from Alliance Lands, but I'm only a commoner. The idea of fighting Except Alliance nobles net. isn't exactly losing me any sleep. Finding old friends, though? That's something else. No, oh, I'd better clear my head. Captain Gerald used to say a mercenary has to be thoughtless. Guess I finally get what he meant. Oh, hey, you can at least teach me in something. Horse riding, bows, and or spears. All right, then. So how are my plants coming along, Linhart? I never do get used to the sight of blood. It always makes me feel as if I might faint. I suppose I told you that, though, yes? I have no idea yeah. how you cope with it. I hope this war ends soon. I dislike being lightheaded because other people are bleeding everywhere. <laughs> it's all a great deal of bother, but I will do my part, of course. You can teach me faith. I mean, do I want to learn faith? Yes. Hey, my relationship with them got up, so I guess that's good. Not really, because I only care about the women, but... What? What do you want, kid? Don't just bow your head to me. So, how are my plants doing? Harvest. Oh boy, alright, so green flower, yellow flower, purple flower, and let's throw in a white flower. Yes. Cultivate. Use ca Caledonian soil. Holy crap, we got a bunch of gold. The professor level is still too low, though, to use the last one. It sucks. I saved the game since we've already talked to most people. Mercedes? The flowers are so resilient, aren't they? Despite the war going on outside the monastery, here they are blooming beautifully. I hope we get to see more kinds of flowers when the weather warms up. You can also teach me faith. Damn, I'm a bad student. Uh, I'll eventually get it up. Maybe. Probably not. There we go. I was wondering what the running button was. Hello. Petra. Since the past, I have learned much of the language of Fodlin. But speaking the Fodlin language still gives me difficulty. I can understand, read, and write with nearly perfection now. But understanding nice. and speaking are fruits of a different color. That's part of your charm. Everyone has a weak spot. I have gratitude for you, Professor. I hope that I will have fluency one day. Oh, you probably will. Oh, look at that. I can go to a level A if I, uh, learned from it. Nope, not going to. How many quests are actually here? I didn't actually look that up. Speaking of a quest, here's one right here. Do you have time for a request? The fish seems skittish lately. It's said that every five years in the wake of a storm, 
A mystery fish appears and eats up all the other fish in the pond. They call it the big one. I thought that was just a legend though. Except. So we have to catch a legendary fish. Hey. What do you have to say? We can't actually join you on the battlefield, but rest assured that we're there in spirit. We're doing everything we can to support the army. So give it your all out there. Oh, we will. Alright. Let's try to catch the big one. I need to talk to the fish keeper. Yes. Let's use herring bait. We're going for legendary fish, so let's use legendary bait. Obviously, this isn't a legendary fish. That's it. This is a strange fish shadow. Big one? For the You've done me a great service. Okay, so Fodlandi is the one you need to catch. Quest to complete all. 500 for now, and I will gladly take that. Also save the game after I did that, so I don't need to do it again. That's a royal pain fish to catch as well. Hey there. Oh, oh, gatekeeper's still here. All right. I'll talk to you soon. What's the quest over here? Come on. I got a favor to ask. I want to start a collection that chronicles the history of Fodlin, but I'm having trouble getting my hands on anything significant. Honestly, it might be easier to excavate an artifact rather than trying to find one for sale. Search for a remnant that the merchant would be proud to add to their collection. Except a piece of history. What's this? Thank you. Of course it was discarded. I figured I'd have a look at how the kingdom is holding up while I was on the road. So I took a trip up north despite the cold. But the borders were closed on every road. I wasn't even able to get into the kingdom. Every crossing point was guarded by grim-looking armed soldiers. It was all very imposing. Oh, well, Dimitri is just probably trying to keep to himself. Till we end up, you know, knocking on his uh, borders. Welcome. All right, can I buy? No, I couldn't. Damn. All right, fine. Please come again. Do I buy all the stuff from them again? Hey, welcome. Let's look at that. I already have. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have all of these. Many thanks. Oh, I just wasted a bunch of gold on iron weapons. Come back soon. Iron weapons probably aren't, you know, gonna be the best, but I mean, hey, they're still decent. They still work. It's, and we can just deal with the shield guys with our casters and whatnot, and especially since I'm gonna be a Grimmery, that's gonna be even easier. I'm a gatekeeper. I haven't heard your voice in quite a long time. How have you been? Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Dare Drew is known as the aquatic capital. It's a beautiful town with streets that seem to float on the water and an impressive harbor. In times of peace, it would be a wonderful place for a holiday. Anyway, best of luck in the next battle. What I want to know though is why didn't you go with, you know, Vea and whatnot? You were technically employed to her and everything else. Hmm. Plot, eh? He always was sharp among his peers. Never let himself get caught up in conventions. <laughs> he wasn't typical in Fodland. Then there's Rhea and King Dimitri. I'd stay on their good sides for different reasons. I don't know if to kill them, but you don't have a choice. Yeah, well, if that's the only way forward, it can't be helped. She smiled as she said that as well when I said she has no choice. Oh boy. 
I mean, I uh, technically also don't want to kill the whatever the so professor's name was before that it was creepy and took out hair and whatnot. But other than that, I don't necessarily want to kill him either. The Gloucester and Ordelia Anime, that's houses his name. have territory in the southern regions of the Alliance. Everyone knows they support the Empire, so they won't get in the way of our armies. Uh huh. Sure. Oh. Lani Slava, hey, you okay? Five years ago, during the attack on this place, you allowed me to join your side. Yes, and I also saved you from Annette's father from killing you. Since then, I've risen through the ranks, and now I'm a general leading my own army. In this invasion of the Alliance, I've been entrusted with maintaining the supply lines and keeping the Goneril territories under control. That's why I won't be accompanying you to Deirdre. Okay. Please look after Lady Edelgard. Don't need to tell me that. I'll always be watching my little eighty. Definitely. What's I up? need a favor. Some soldier station at Fodolin's locket abandoned their post. They want what you'd call upstanding folks. It would be a real headache for us if they became bandits instead of wreaking havoc in towns. A soldier has obtained information about the Zerds. It seems they are skilled soldiers, so you should persuade them to join you. Except, yeah, persuade, aka beat the ever living crap out of them, right? Hey, I could use a hand. Recently, pirates have been raiding coastal towns in the Strang region. People say they are attacking innocent civilians sinking merchant ships. Think you can do something about that? A soldier has obtained information about pirates. Head to the Strang region and take them out. All right. Anything else here? Yes. What? By the stables. So, Marianne, what about you over here? Yes. Oh, Ingrid. Judith of Daphnel, you are a force to be reckoned with. You will not be forgotten. She wasn't a force to be reckoned with. I, 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 I incinerated her. I mean, it's probably because I a while ago grinded, but other than that, she didn't really seem like she would have been too difficult. In another life, I might have fought by her side. Yeah, you might have. What's done is done. I understand the sentiment. It's a harsh truth, but it's the truth nonetheless. We can't change the past. I mean, technically I could if I, you know, play the game again. I could definitely do that. <laughs> the Alliance troops were nothing to turn a nose up at. They were pretty strong and brave, too. Our next target of attack is Daredrum, the Alliance base. Better stay sharp, even if we do have superior numbers. Oh, we'll be fine. Totally speaking, there's no way we would ever die. I mean, it's not like we actually could die, seeing as how I'm not on that type of difficulty. I don't think I'm ever going to be qualified to be able to play a Fire Emblem game with permanent death. I would just lose every single person I'd have. Big Brother always gets so fired up. Better keep an eye on him. Who are you? Oh, sorry. I was just talking to myself. I hear you're heading out to Deirdre. Good luck with the battle. Are you Caspar's sister? Why couldn't I get you to come join us? If you're, if you're out there, if you're gonna be out there fighting, why couldn't you be part of my class instead of Caspar? Hey there. Lately, the kingdom and the Knights of Seros haven't made any significant moves. I don't suppose they're going to stand by and watch while we attack Deirdre, though. That's why I've doubled our guard and instructed them to be extra vigilant. I will keep Garrig Mach safe. It is my duty and responsibility. Oh, is it now? We'll see about that. Remember the Death Knight who stabbed me five years ago? Of course you do. Uh -huh. How could you forget? Well, it turns out he's a general in the Imperial Army. He leads the Western Front against the Kingdom. Once I knew he was at Garrig Mach, I stormed right up to him, told him who I was and what he did. And he offered me an apology. I'm talking about a sincere, heartfelt, <laughs> solemn apology. 
What a letdown. <laughs> Why, you were hoping for an all out battle against What's him? What's going on with that guy anyway? Who is he under that mask? What if it was Hanneman that was under the mask? That would be something. Because technically speaking, we didn't see Hanneman there, but at the same time... Well, no, actually. Hanneman was with Edelgard, but at the same time, we don't know where both of them went. So he possibly could have slipped through another secret passage and got there before us. So Death Knight could be Hanneman. You never know. That would be an interesting little, uh... Tidbit. Hey, be in faith. Nice, I finally got a great. New skill? This experience is critical. Nope. I do really want to know, though, who the hell is under that mask. Could be Hanneman, could be someone else right. completely that we don't know about. I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll probably figure out eventually, maybe. If you travel east from the Alliance and cross Fodland's throat, you enter the land of Almyra. House Goneril's territory touches the eastern border of the Alliance. They also have Lord Holst, the most valiant warrior in the Alliance. Tasked with keeping watch over the Almyran's movements, he rarely leaves Goneril territory. Okay. Fair I have been wondering something. If I had not been your student, where would I be right now? Who would I be? Well, for one, had you not been my student, he would be my enemy, my enemy, a guy, my enemy. That's about it, really. Do you ever think about that sort of thing, Professor? I don't really need to think of it because I know exactly what would have happened. Like, what if I had led a different class? Like, what if I had turned against the Empire? Well, if I turned against the Empire, and he was still my student, he would have came with me just like everyone else would have, and then I would have left Edelgard all alone because I would have tried to kill her when Rhea told me to, and then in turn I probably would have also killed Hubert. I'm still never gonna let that one go because I ended up saving him over the game and I couldn't be luck. Either way, like, what if I had led a different class? Ah, so you do think about such questions. You can never find answers, though, right? We cannot turn back time, so there is no way to go back and try a different path. Technically speaking, I can turn back time. Because I, I believe, came from the future to the past. And that's why my memory was all hazy and I don't didn't remember anything. I don't know. I don't remember. Did we actually come from the f future? I swear we did. Well, either way, horse riding, you don't have anything to teach me. You can't teach the sensei. Hmm. So we got to go oh. over to the church. These doors never want to open unless they're just standing there and wait for it to load. So talk to whoever's in here, then go upstairs. Well, I, technically speaking, uh... There is, in fact, Hubert up there, and there is a quest there as well from him. No one else in the dormitory. So yeah, after this person over here, we go talk no. to Hubert up there. Oh, Marianne! He refuses to... surrender. Oh, yeah, she was part of Claude's place, wasn't she? The tide... I wonder why that could be. Whoops. The tide of war is clearly favoring us, but Claude refuses to surrender. It's against his principles. The way he sees it, we bo can't both exist. Frankly, it seems to me that his ideals are not that far removed from Edelgard's. I suppose even the very powerful can be irrational at times. I mean, if we don't have to kill Claude, I wouldn't kill him. 
as he's not the one I'm after. Hilda, on the other hand, is a different story because she didn't want to come with me. It's kind of a sad thing to say, but I mean, it's the truth. All I wanted was, it was for her to love me as well, but obviously that can't happen. Choir. I have four left. Anyone want to sing with me? Dorothea. Annette. Let's sing together. I'll keep my voice down. Don't want people thinking I'm vying for... Singing is so much fun. Everyone should enjoy themselves while they're doing it. That they should. Pretty much a waste, but Maybe. I don't know what to do anymore in terms of teaching. So yeah, either I learn stuff myself or I try my hardest to learn stuff with the with the, my for my students, or I just blow it all like I was starting to do in the uh, little tournament over there. All right, so who up here in Rhea's room? Or what used to be her room. Oh, it's Edelgard. Oh, this time I definitely need to save. I wish we could settle all of this before the fighting begins, don't you? Mm -hmm. I wish it dearly, but few others feel that way. They fight in a bloody battle, take countless lives, and then finally come to understand defeat. They refuse to admit when they're beaten, and they keep it up until they've been utterly defeated. Of course, I understand that sacrifice is inevitable. But if they're going to surrender after being defeated anyway, why raise a weapon in the first place? You can teach me axes or heavy armor. No real point in any of those. Okay. Now, Hubert, what exactly is your quest going to be? You want me to overthrow some regional lord or something? Bribe people? Make people surrender to our might? In order to defeat a formidable foe, you must first learn who they are. How much do you know about the Alliance? The Leicester Alliance unites the feudal lords of that region. It holds regular roundtable conferences, where they vote on their policies. However, only the five great lords are permitted to vote. Duke Goneril, Count Gloucester, Count Ordelia, Margrave Edmund, and their leader, Duke Regan. Their titles were originally granted to them by the royal family of Farkas. About 300 years ago, the Alliance was still part of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, you see. Uh-huh. All right, Hubert. Better not let me down over here. So we've somehow managed to take the Great Bridge of Murden. That means House Gloucester should now be ready to join the Fold more formally. We've blown a major hole in Claude's plan to preserve the Alliance. We should press on to Deirdre before he has the opportunity to adjust his strategy. Or us taking the bridge was already part of his strategy. Oh, you have two of them. I have a request for you. Could you assist us in securing more resources? Gather a request of resources and deliver them, except. I have a request for you. If it is not too much trouble, please find the most beautiful flowers you can. We require a large number of them, so do not be too selective about their sizes. Find some flowers and give them to Hubert. Ironically enough, you can teach me about reason. Alright then. So... There's something down there, down there. I can turn something in over there. Alright, let's go down here and see what's over here at the market. How's it oh, going? Good. Thanks. 
Oh, that's the piece of history you wanted to know. Okay. Thanks for the 500 Manown. And the Cornerstone Fragment, whatever the heck that is. I don't see anything else around here, so only one of the Hubert's quests could be gotten from over here? Oh, the flowers. Yeah, that makes sense then. Gladiolus. At all? What? Where else do I get flowers? I mean, other than set of here, obviously. I mean, I have a bunch of flowers on me. Well, seeds. The gladiolus. Flowers used as an offering for those who died in war. The flowers are colorful, but the leaves are sharp as blades. I'll take it. Well done, Professor. Thank there you. There we go. 500 renown. That would have confused the ever living hell out of me otherwise. Now that we've done those, I do not mean to zoom in. So, this is obviously, I'm assuming, out in the wild? Dealing with deserters is obviously on the battlefield, so is Pirates in the North. Supply run, though, I'm not entirely sure. Damn it. Stop doing that. Supply run sounds like it's from the marketplace, right? Why are we able to go to the third floor? It's when the heck can we go to the third floor? Second floor. This looks like a bell. The Archbishop's room. Oh, this is why we could never go here. This is her place. I don't see anything lighting up. She not leave anything behind? Uh, I can just take for myself? Star Terrace. I mean, this looks nice, but again, there's nothing really here for me. That sucks. Oh, it's an advanced lance tournament today. Ferdinand, Ingrid, or Leone? I'm gonna go with my girl Ingrid, mainly because she's a... I mean... Mainly because she's 39. Yes. Wyvern Rider. This ought to be fun. Because they're both Wyvern Riders, after all. Actually, no. Ingrid's a Pegasus Rider. I shall not stray. Good job. The fact that the enemies are actually going to put up a fight, though, is actually going to be a little bit... Next too bad. Oh, oh, next crit. My duty is your death. I was waiting for one of those enemies to deal massive amounts of damage to her. Next try. I was wondering her weapon could I deal more than stay. 18. This is what happens when it's a training weapon. At least she can attack twice, unlike everyone else who can't. Ow. How dare you. You took me lightly. Good job, Ingrid. Okay, he can do 15, which would go up to 30, so restore that button. Now go. This quickly. It is well, done. Looks like Onward. I overprepared for that one. Good job. Anyone else? Nope, that was the last one as well. Good job, Ingrid. How much? Eh, it's a decent amount of professor points. And some decent amount of cash as well. Ingrid supposedly has dodged every single one of these so far. So 
So can she go for a clean sweep? My duty is your death. Nope. She basically went for a clean sweep and then failed at the last one. Are you serious? Oh well. So close to A. Good job. Thanks for the cash and so close. All right, that is in fact the end of the monastery. Save on number four. Um, yes, and today's free time. Instruct manually, instruct automatically. Why do you choose the ones automatically that are not ha What? Wasn't Edelgard like really freaking happy? What the hell happened? Oh, it's because they I have were to ask. taught. That's why. And the anniversary of Gerald's death is coming up. I'd like to put something on his grave. So that he knows we're all thinking of him. What item would make him happiest? The best bottle of booze you can find. Some flowers and delicious fish. Of course. That makes sense. Leonie, did you just come for the ride for this? Yep. She literally came here to also know what would be best. Professor, level up to a... Sadly... S is most likely the last one, and that is way too far away. But hey, the number of jutins we can deploy has increased, so now we can have three. The recipe book for cooking together has expanded. I haven't Professor. cooked together in a long time. It'd be really useful if I could fire a bow more accurately from horseback. I think we could work on my riding along with my bow skills. I mean, we need you as a lance-heavy armor unit, but... We don't really need you to f fire your bow more accurately, no. Oh? Well, at the round... Uh, this isn't necessarily, necessarily the round table. But I guess it technically is. Is this what success feels like? Excalibur! It's all instinct now. I forgot that I gave her brawling. <laughs> okay. Now, here's what's gonna happen. I'm not gonna be fighting the monster or whatever that shows up, unless there's no more monsters. There'll be him and... Okay, yeah. Wait, I'm not fighting any more monsters. I'm Singing not. So much fun. If I may sound terrible, but you won't notice when everyone else sings, too. So I will only be doing the side quest, saying when I decide I want to grind, I'll do that. Other than that, we're not fighting anything else. Other than the main story. Yes, you can auto-save, but how's about a actual manual save? Now, battle. Way gathering the supplies. Wait, what? Then where the hell do I go for gathering supplies if it isn't inside of the monastery? I mean, albeit I don't really need to do these right now because they're not necessarily things that need to be done this month. That's kind of weird. Dealing with deserters. Rare enemies. Level 34. Root the bandits. Nope. Dealing with deserters, and then we'll deal with the other one. That's in the north. Dealing with deserters. Chapter 14. The Master Tactician. Alright. Map. So, do we have to kill all of them, or... No. Root the enemy. Yep, we literally just kill them all. What 
What's my strategy? I mean, that'll be the easiest thing we could possibly ever do. So yeah, moving on. Goodbye. It won't be in vain. Mercedes. Attack. Fire. I had to protect my friends. Nicely done. Yes, you do have to protect your friends. Speedy. Attack, Iron Axe. Bye-bye. Your death is not in vain. We don't really need to worry about them, but at the same time, I need to also pay attention to keeping 80 with myself so I can get my bond up so I we can actually prepare. fall in love. Attack, Iron Sword. My heart I don't think they'll be able to kill pride. Petra. I don't think Ready that would be possible. Are. Oh my good god, it's all freaking archers over here. What type of crap is that? Meteor. Oh uh, yeah, kill that one. Only thorns left on this rose. Is Muddy on down here? Or did I not bring her? I don't know Muddy on is here. I'll do my best. Haha. Dungs for me. Oh, we'll have this done you. in in the jiffy. Hopefully. Attack. Another meteor. Right here. And damage both of them, basically knocking them both Will out. This ever end? Almost. Be nice if it actually could just defeat them both. Let's make this quick. I don't really see why they can't. Saw you out. Good job. Anyone else? Lysithia, move on up. And Bernie. No. Bernie, come on. I don't really need to do this, but yeah, I'll do it anyways. Come on. Too slow. Woo, you missed. Give me my love up with you, God. Thank you very much. In a perfect 69 of that. Oh, and I also got up with 30. Hmm. So there's an archer, caster, caster. I can go right there. So put 80. Crap. They should be coming after me, so actually, put E.D. right here, put me right here, attack, beat him. I should have went to the other magic though, but it's fine. No time for accolades. Relationship up. In greed. I want you to go and take this punk out. Nicely done. Next up, Petra. Isithia, I want you to come over here, attack with your iron sword. Take him out. With a crit. Nice. Impressive as always. Dorothea, you don't have any other abilities, so wait. Dance purely just for the experience. Apologies. There we go. Yeah, the punk would literally attack her. But if I switch off to say back to fire, he will still attack her. Why is that? What's her level? Twenty? Oh my good god! No, 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 no! She's way too freaking squishy. Stay where you are. She's basically a glass cannon. And... Not quite. And you missed. 
You're supposed to be the leader of these guys. You suck. Watch and learn. I'll get that bond up. Thank you very much. Technically speaking, I could just sit here and get my bond up. Hmm. Can I attack you from here again? Alright, so put 80 right there. Go here, attack. No, 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 no. With fire. Take that one out. Good this job. Could turn the tides. Bond up. Now I want Petra to take you out. With all of my might, and you're done. I fight for justice's name. Thanks for the experience. And a bully and I don't really need. And that's pretty much it. And come on you guys. Get my bond up. The best you can. Never uh, mind. Too powerful. Come on, dodge this. You know it's a hundred to chance to hit. This could turn the tides. Thanks for the two bonds up, I guess. Better than nothing. MVP. Renown increased. Alright, let's save the game. Battle in the Empire. Pirates in the North. I am not doing that. Technically speaking, I should have, though. Would have gave us probably a lot of experience. Holy crap. All these guys are sword users. Except for that one that's a bow. And that one who's a healer. Yeah, they're pretty much all swords. So actually, the Edie, go right there. What's my Put strategy? myself right here. Attack. Yeah, pretty much with fire. Go right there. Attack. Fire. Who's not attacking me? That one isn't. It's over. Bad boy. Is Sit down. This will be a farming session for me and Edie. Ready when you are. I don't know why I keep calling her that. I know, I know Dorothea calls her that, but when the hell did I start doing that? It is done. Onward. Almost 40. Good job. Yeah, you can stay where you are. Hmm. Adeon can't reach for the dance anyways. So, yeah, pretty much it's in turn. Come on. Yeah. I will, however, need to switch my fire magic off to something else soon. This is all for my love for you, it'll go. This is how a grinder does it. Oh, really? You, you seriously decided to try Nosferatu on me? You screwed yourself. And this punk over here thought he could actually damage Ingrid. Well, loser. Come on, sword guys. Little god can go right here. I will go right here. Now you can attack little god if you want. Attack. No one will be able to get me otherwise. So yeah, try one more time. It won't be in vain. Run with your tail between your legs. You can't defeat us. I really, however, should have moved Marty on up. I really should have. Ingrid. No one can attack you, but you can use your iron bow to attack them. Haha. -ha. If only you got a crit. Thanks to that rock being in the way, everything is fine. Now end turn. We will not end this without the ill guard and myself getting our bond up to the Let's point where she falls in love. Or the hearts stop coming. If I'm not going to be grinding experience, this will be the one thing I, w I definitely want to grind. 
All right, two of the fools will be attacking me. So swap to Nosferatu and kill the fool that's going after you, little guy. Goodbye. All Thanks for the health. Okay. Ingrid. Only one fool would be coming after you. Fine. Whatever. Just leave her there. End turn. This will be worth it in the end, I promise. Especially with a crit like that to just maximize my health. Thanks, Ingrid. You're down in one spell. Aha! Master skills for enlightened I one. Fully grasped this top. Sacred power ability has been unlocked. I wonder what the hell that is. Okay. AD right there. Me right here. Right here? Right here. Okay, yeah, that's where I need to be. Sadly, though, that's not gonna happen. The set is I need you to heal. Actually, fortify? Oh, that's a bigger heal, okay. Heal me up. He's almost an A plus in faith, that's pretty sweet. Okay, and then. Are there any guys behind us? Nope. Alright, little card, you go right there. I go right here. I will attack with. Let's see, two, four, six. I have enough. Attack. Take him out. But of course, only two of them will be able to attack me, anyways. End the turn. Bye. It won't be in vain. We're still getting hearts. Jeez. All right, go right here. Wait. Hey, he will attack me instead. Good. And goodbye, Master Pirate. All is going to plan. Still got that bond up. It's not going down. The only thing going down is my uh, whatever the thing is called that I have right there. And the final turn for us. No. No damage. You suck. Another Get out of here. Still bond up. Nothing maxed out. Damn it. Save the game. We will instruct automatically. I'll do Good job, everyone. Ooh, faith level five. Nicely done, with Senes with an A plus in faith. Professor. Perhaps it is due to the power of Crest, but a heavy armor has never slowed me down. Still, it wouldn't hurt to improve further in that regard, as it would nothing complements heavy armor better than an axe. Focus on axe and riding skills. Focus on axe and heavy armor skills. I mean... You already have a riding a bit. Ah, uh, shit, why not? Can't say no to you. Even though technically that's what we were gonna be going to with anyways, with horse riding. What's up? Nothing, I guess. Can't let this Look at all the skill ups. Unused. One step before the next step. Guess all that time wasn't wasted. Technique never mm -hmm. betrays. Good job, everyone. The 18th. Now we can go back to the monastery. Thank you so much. With these quests completed. I'll take that 400 for now. Thanks. I'm glad I asked. And I'll take that 200 for now. Totally not worth it. Oh well. But where the bloody hell? Again, supply run. 
Gather the requested resources and deliver them. Oh my god, I I'm I'm so stupid. Verona and Silverfish. I must be tired or something, because I did not even see that till now. <laughs> Gather the requested resources. AKA what it says under it, resources needed. Well, good thing we're going back there anyways. Explore yet again. I'ma be using Ingrid a lot over there. Although I think I'm gonna wind the episode down here though. Cause after we turn into Hubert, there's not really much we can do other than going to the next phase of battles. Where I can actually get some more skill ups and whatnot. Yes. I want to harvest. Thank you very much. Barely gave me anything. So, pale blue flower, green, red, and mixed. Can I have one more? Oh, I can have five now. Okay, Eastern Fodolin seed. Cultivate. Spread Pegasus Blessings. Max Yield. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Now, do I need to fish up the silverfish or do I just need to buy it at the shop? Hey there. I think I just need to buy it. Unless I need to make it myself. You only sell that. Return soon, please. Hey, Something more merchant. Poultry, wild game. I, I need to get it crafted, don't I? I'm a... Welcome. I seriously need again. to do that. What was the first thing I needed? Silverfish. Other one is Verona. Do I have those? Let's see. Silverfish. I do not have you. I have. I have Verona. I have it. I just need silverfish. Do I really need a fish till I get silverfish? Oh, come on. Really? Really? You couldn't have needed, like, a golden fish or something. You need specifically silverfish. I need bait that, you know, catches silverfish. Uncommon fish. Uncommon fish. Fucking extremely rare fish. What type of rarity is it? It won't tell me. And I need two of them. Are you serious? It's a glimmering fish. And not only is the a glimmering fish, had I got one more excellent, I probably would have got fished up two in one. Uh, damn it. Glimmering fish shadow. Please, for the love of God, give me the last silver fish I need. Are you kidding me? I wanted a silver fish and I got a platinum fish. This f pricey fish shines like pure white silver. Why couldn't it have just been regular silver? I've been sitting here for so long. Is it because I used the herring bait that I got? Oh my god. Please, for the love of god, glimmering fish.
Excellent on all categories. Give me my silver fish. I got the golden fish. It's because I got excellent son. Oh my god. Did I really just screw myself? Oh my god. I just looked at my at the uh, recording screen and I somehow just got a perfect. Really? How the hell did I pull that off? And that is what it completely looks like when all I'm doing is looking at the recording screen instead of the game screen. I got two excellents, three bads, I believe. The rest good. That was scary there. Oh wow, one health bar left. On a large fish, I shouldn't have done that. Looking away again. Please just give me a glimmering and give me silver fish. That's all I want. Is one pesky little freaking silver fish. But no, you give me a platinum and then you give me a gold. Glimmering. Please, for all this freaking holy, give me my silver fish. Please, silver fish. Oh my god, I'm done. Hubert, okay. screw you. Oh, hell of freaking Luya. I hate you so much, Hubert. I really, really freaking do. I've been fishing for, I think, 20 minutes. Maybe a little bit less. I'm tired currently, so it's, it was driving me insane. In fact, I got like two other gl glimmerings and it was not silverfish and nor the ever living hell to me. Deliver the request of resources. Well done, yes. Professor. Thank you. 2,000 gold, 200 renown. Not, not worth it for 200 renown. It was not. I went through hell for that quest. Well, we have no more quests. We've done them all. The only thing, oh good god, I have nine things I can do now instead of eight because I'm now rank A and professor level. All right, well, here's how I see things currently happening. With that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Where I will have done the tournament, got, gotten to the next day, and then I will grind, probably, on battle, trying to get a net myself and everyone else to a higher level? Do we really need to do that? No. Will I do that? Probably, probably not. I mean, we're currently fine, but at the same time, I don't want anyone to die. Lysithia is the only one I can't really bring out into the throes of battle without actually uh, having her protected. So yeah, till then, see you guys later.